Live from downtown Bakersfield, 23 ABC News at 11 starts now. Good evening. Community members took their protests from the streets of Bakersfield to council chambers. They say they want the city to defund the police department and reallocate the funds elsewhere within the community. New at 11, 23 ABC's Kylie Walker has more on what was said during city council's public comment portion of the meeting. My daughter, who is eight years old, is afraid to go to the post office because she thinks the police will murder her. I cannot tell her that's false because time, history, and current events have shown that that is emphatically true. Members of the organization People's Budget of Bakersfield stood before council members in a meeting held Wednesday night demanding action. This isn't Minnesota, but we have our own local George Floyds here in Bakersfield. I hear all of these false hopes and see no, see no action. Your silence is complacency. It is consent. If you don't listen tonight and you don't hear the people of Bakersfield, you are just as guilty as the murderers who continue to kill black people. And Dalton Jones with the People's Budget of Bakersfield tells 23ABC when they say defund the police, they mean they want to see police budgets reduced and redistributed throughout the community. Because what cannot happen is we allow 41% of the general fund to go to police yet again. The group says they want to invest those city dollars into programs such as free mental health care access, programs that help build economic equity among the black community, and universal needs such as affordable housing, among other programs. This is your money. You should be allowed to say where it goes. So if anything comes out of this, we need to we need a participatory budgeting process in this city. And during all these comments, council members thanked residents for speaking on the topic. Now, as for what is public comment, it's a portion of a city council meeting where residents are allowed to speak directly to council members, allowing them to voice their view on any city matter. And residents do have a time limit so the council members can hear multiple people. But during Wednesday's meeting, that portion was extended 30 extra minutes. But for now, reporting in Bakersfield, I'm Kylie Walker, 23ABC, connecting you. If you would like to speak during public comment, the next city council meeting is slated for July 15th. Check the Bakersfield City website for speaking rules.